just finished robbing a train. And now it's time to drink yourself to death on another exciting episode of the Cowboy Rowdy Podcast. <laughs> Governor. Know that I'm coming correct. Let me talk to you guys about something that they can do both drunk and high that is extremely pleasant. I think our podcast needs a budget for guns. Kale, boy. Brownie. Well, shoot, dang. Crack a cold one, baby. What is it with this fucking podcast? Hey, everybody. I'm stepping in to guest host today. It's Michael Booth. With me, as always, is international cuck boy Anthony Barrera. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Okay. You know, just because you're hosting, you know what I'm saying? Don't try talking to me like I'm some fucking R&B singer, all right? We ain't having that today. It's going to be a long episode. And also we have audio engineer and acclaimed uh, uh, Jules uh, critic, Sebastian McCabe. I actually I gave up the jewel because it's just not up oh, to the, gave up the, the jewel. quality standard that I have come to expect. So, <laughs> are you, what are you vaping on nowadays? I've got a fucking I, I don't want to say the brand. I don't want to endorse anything. You know, okay. without, without you have a full paid. functioning device over there. It seems. Yeah, it's it's wired. <laughs> no, it's charging. <laughs> it's wired. Can you imagine that would suck so fucking bad. <laughs> If you had a vape or something that you had to plug in to use it all. It's like one of those old school phones. You can only vape in one room. You have to get a longer cord. cord. It looks like a breathalyzer, you know? Like the one. (laughs) You're out in the front porch. You got the door open. They're like, it's cold in here. You're like, I'm vaping, motherfuckers. (laughs) Oh, man. That's hilarious. If you buy a, if you spend a shitload of money on a car, they'll give you one that's just built into your car. That is true. That would be that would be amazing, actually. Just have a filtrate. You have like another hose that comes out of the AC. You can just blow it into. It just goes out your exhaust. It doesn't even look like you're doing anything. <laughs> just like a big green tube hooked up. You're just driving. Yeah, I would fix it. Figure out how to them. fix it to where you could smoke weed that way too. You just blow it in the in the tube. It's just like wow, this guy's exhaust smells like dank weed. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so we um speaking of recently i i always love whenever i'm just like out driving or something and i see somebody in their car just like puffing fucking huge clouds and i always try to yell something at them like i'm not i'm Fight not live dad for, yeah like I, i'm not one for yelling shit from cars at people like i i don't i don't like doing that i don't like harassing people like that but if I, I used to be all like, about that I know you did, but if I see someone like puffing like some fucking major cotton, I always I always yell some stupid shit at them, and they they always will look at you just like it was the last thing that they were expecting. But it's like, dude, you can't be fucking, you can't be doing this. Yeah, like, I built this mod, dude. People to notice. Like you, you know, the last time here, like your car is like just exploded or something, and like people just aren't gonna say anything. The last time I yelled at someone from my car, I was out with my friend, and there were these two kids skating, and they were this staircase, and he's like, hey, hey, ollie the stairs! And dude tried to yeah, ollie dude. the stairs, no. and it ate shit on the ground, and we <laughs> started laughing so hard. Bro, I used to, in high school, I used to carry a little whiteboard in my car with a marker, and my homies would like write shit on it and then like hold it up to the car next to us. It was normally like a like picture of a dick or like can I get your number or like a question. Like one time we asked like who do you think lives longer, alligators or turtles? And we would just hold it up to people and they <laughs> their faces are just <laughs> it's like they're You're lucky your night, friends you know, never put like call nine one one help. We're being <laughs> held <laughs> This is not a joke, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. you're fucking lucky. That's funny. Drug, well, let's uh, let's hop into the the first segment today. We got a battle of the brands coming at you guys today. Uh, we're gonna talk about the best toys we had growing up because that is some crucial, crucial thing. Like to remember is you know, 
this everybody had a favorite toy everybody had like the go-to when you were younger yeah. like you know it, it's all different so i think i'll i'll go first and uh i just want to say that my favorite toy probably i mean i don't know if it's plural or not but it was just legos straight up yeah okay like I legos legos were the shit like you could yeah. build whatever you wanted like i remember just getting like legos from like as a birthday gift and like i just had this collection by the time i was like you know 12 years old it's just like tubs of legos and i would yep. just sit there and build like a giant like this whole like fortress with all these little lego dudes and you got like the snap on like hair pieces for all these little Lego dudes, and you got the extra attachments. I had like the pirate set that had I'd like the fucking... always mix match like the the legs and the heads and the whatever. Yeah, the heads always had like you know everyone was different. One of them was angry. Yeah, one of them was, it's like emojis. Yeah, that's like that's the original emoji, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's the original yeah. emoji was Lego heads, bro. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> did you evolve past that? Like, did you ever get to like bionicles? and shit yeah like you know i kind of like, fucked with bionicles like a, a little bit yeah but um, i was just i mean also to clarify i'm not talking about big blocks because big blocks are for fucking losers yeah i'm talking about shit. for little children it's called, yeah well there was the there was the big legos the ones for like toddlers or whatever so that they don't choke and then there was the what were the knockoff ones called mega blocks mega blocks yeah, yeah so fuck that shit bro Playing regular Legos, okay? For I'm not real. fucking Only right. the real shit. I love the name brand shit. <laughs> Only genuine. And yeah, you, you had to have a good... Everything else so I could afford real You had to Legos. have a good platform piece. You guys remember the flat pieces? <laughs> yeah, that were basically dude, like the those board. were the most valuable ones. <laughs> those were the most valuable things. Yeah. Like, you could have... You could have, like, all these other pieces, but if you didn't have a fucking flat <laughs> board you didn't to put have it all somewhere on, to fucking put them. That's true, You were bro. shit out of luck. Straight fucked. Well, okay, here's one. Okay, I'm second in this list, but honestly, like, my pick was also going to be Legos, so we can just keep talking about Legos for a while. Um, what was, like, the biggest, most badass one that you had? Like, I had um, this, I had one of the big police station ones. Oh, okay. That were, like, multiple rooms and, like, had, like, a little jail in them and shit. Like, I had, I had one of the big police station ones. That one, too, came with a really good, uh, big platform piece. Mm. Did it come I with, had... uh, prisoners? Yeah, the whole the whole thing. It came with like a like nice. a motorcycle and like some other stuff, but it was you like get this, you get the swinging jail had, door piece. It had it had two jail cells. Oh hell yeah, bro! And a hell of those pieces were so valuable. Like I was gonna say, like my favorite part of the Lego set I had, I had like a pirate like treasure island kind of set. Oh yep. And so it had like a bridge, the, like an actual piece that was like a bridge. And then a few like uh, like palm tree looking things. Okay, yeah. So you could kind of make this little like I would I always would make like a basically like Tortuga and Pirates of the Caribbean was ba- like all I would build, and would just like have all these little pirate dudes. I had like the snap on bandanas for the fucking Lego heads. I, I would had, flip it around oh. so it looks like Tupac, you know. <laughs> yeah. That was my thing was like repurposing them. Uh, yeah. bef- before we move on to, to Anthony's, I do want to give one quick shout out um, to another good one. There's this. Uh, I used to be really into like tractors and garbage trucks, construction equipment, and shit like that when I was a kid, which probably explains a lot. Um, and there was this fucking company that called uh, Bruder. They're like German or some shit, but they just make these like super detailed replicas of like. I don't know tractors or whatever and i remember they're they're kind of expensive so i only had like one but it was like the most jazz that i ever was because it was a garbage truck and it okay. came with garbage cans and garbage to put in them oh hell yeah <laughs> and, and like, to, to like 10 year old me that was the most mind-blowing shit That's ever fire. because it literally had like the little thing that would reach out and grab the garbage cans. No you know? way, bro. And then, That's the, sick. and then the truck had like a crank on it that would like squish dude. the garbage. It was that like the most mind bending shit to me, dude. I still, I, I wonder if that You're thing like, is I want to be a garbage man something. so bad. I did, I did. That was the first <laughs> job that I wanted to do was be a garbage man. And honestly, if I had done it and stuck with that, I'd probably be making more money than I am now. True. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say mine. I wasn't a big Legos guy yeah, growing sure. up. I was uh, I was a big action figure yeah. kind of person. Okay. Um. So, I was uh, I was into Digimon as a kid. 
Okay. And okay. I remember I had this action the figure. I can't remember the choice. name. Uh, if you know anything about Digimon, the names got really convoluted by the Didn't end. Didn't they all end in Mon? Yeah. Every okay. single ca- every single Digimon. Okay. So it right. was like Ultra Angel Hex Mon or some shit. It was super cool. It was like a yellow that fox. Anthony, you made that name up. That's not a real one, is it? I'm sure it isn't, but okay. I'm sure it's not too Search far away from out. something that is. Search it. Um, and there was this also, there's Magneto uh, action figure I had that I stole from my cousin. Uh, oh, damn. That was, that was super cool. It was super awesome. It was around the time I got into pro wrestling. So, nice. like, every time, okay. like, you know, just the best matches of and all time. And then Magneto kicks the Rock's ass. <laughs> Just holds his hand out, and the Rock is like, but yeah, John ah! Cena. <laughs> hours of entertainment. I also want to give a, a he, quick he, shout he out. He gravitates the beers out of Stone Cold's hands. <laughs> He's just like. I also want to give shout out to Tetris. I know we're not doing video games, but Tetris was a big part of my childhood. Yo, what um, what were you playing it on though? I was playing it on the Game Boy Color, the the the, the you know the one that flips open, <laughs> the advanced oh, the SP? Game Boy Advance, yeah SP whatever. That was when I first started playing it and like hooked instantly. Why can you say Advance or SP whatever? Those are different things, bro. SP is way different than Advanced, my guy. SP is way different than Advanced. Hi, my name is Michael. I suck. <laughs> you can't just do that. You're not nine. Yeah, come on, have a good. Like I said, have a good comeback. Come on. Uh, uh, no, but like, I remember I had an SP, and it had the. Um, I think that was the first one to have like the bumpers on the back. Oh yeah, oh, the, the bumpers the are fucking had, sick, dude. The yeah. Advance had that. Okay, yeah. The advance is nice because you, really you didn't have to flip it open. Jack. Um, the advanced uh, was when I first started resetting, a lot more in video games. Like what? Like you would just hit it instead of yeah because it was so easy to reset on it that's true yeah yeah that's right it was just like a one button yeah it was more i think it was a toggle or something on the side like something you slide and it just resets i think it was next to the on off switch maybe it was yeah yeah. was yeah some of those like the volume was also the on off switch or some bullshit i feel like (laughs) there was at least one handheld that that did that anyway (laughs) Did you um, ever see the commercials for those things coming out? They made them seem so much better than they actually yeah, were. Yeah, that's, that's why I made my parents... It was all a bunch of fucking lies. Yeah. yeah, I rocked the the Game Boy Color, but it had all the attachments. I had a pink one. Nice. Ooh, I had a blue one. I had the purple one, and it was like... I had the magnifying glass thing that popped oh, out. Oh, yeah. The, the fucking had the light on it. Light thing. I had, that like, the rechargeable so battery pack. Oh, my God. You had and, the whole nine yards. Do you have a GameCube uh, with a wave bird or what? No, I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I never got that far. Oh, no, I, I, had, I had a, a GameCube. One. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember playing in the car. You would had to turn on the light. And I had to hold it, hold it down because it would, like, glare on my mom's <laughs> window. And she was mad at me. So I'd have to, like, hold it. I'd have to, like, just bent over, like, playing Game Boy, playing Pokemon Red just in the car on the way home from Fred Meyer. Just like, oh, come on, come on. I was in the cave. I was just in the dark. Like, where's where's my where's my flash? You went in I, there in the dark, dude? Oh, yeah. That was, that was some, early days, some dude. Some rookie shit, dude. That's some rookie oh, shit. Get a fucking... Did you always go to the left? You're always supposed to go to the left. Bro, I, I didn't play it that much, man. Like, oh, fucking noob. <laughs> Anthony, you are on the worst inside kick right now. <laughs> he's just mad at the intro. He's trying to. He's just salty now. <laughs> um, well, let's get into this next segment, man. I want to talk about. Some, I want to. I want to talk about some lies y'all have been told. I want to hear about the craziest shit well, someone's told you, know, you that has dad, obviously been a lie. My dad worked for, he worked at Nintendo when they made the Game Boy, so he didn't. But, like, that's what we're going for, right, is, like, that kind of that Yeah, kind of yeah, that kind of shit. Okay. I almost bought Damn. it. <laughs> He's like, Seb, you have to wait for the latest model to come out. I mean, I'm on the R&D team, yeah. and we haven't quite we haven't Trust quite me, you want to production. Shit. Yeah, even we haven't quite, we're still in prototype phase. <laughs> 
But yeah, listen, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first. Hit it. Um, I was uh, I was in college and I was chilling in like the student center where you can get food and just kind of hang out, do some work if you need to. I had this woman come up to me and she was with a bunch of my friends, and she starts talking amongst us and she's like, "Yeah, I've I've killed people like." I'm an international, like, fucking, like, hitman, essentially. And she didn't look very athletic at all. But she was really on some, like, I kill people type shit. Like, I am here to kind of lay low for a semester. And then I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm trying to get out the game, but. And she was young. She's like, I've been doing this since I was, like, eight. <laughs> like, I was recruited early. And, oh, like, just yeah. building this whole fucking wild, like. S- like super soldier type shit and super like she, with the straight face the whole thing and i'm biting back laughing dude because like obviously it's not true and i'm like can you show me some of your moves and she's like no no i can't i i lose control and like i i'm gonna end up hurting you right my hands and i don't want to do that registered as lethal weapon. jeez dude so it classic. was just really like and like everyone like their faces were blank like they were just like they accepted oh, yeah, everybody this- else was fucking buying it that's this is what this person real does. problems and needs help <laughs> like you need she has needs some attention like she's craving it it sounds like this it's is, yeah uh, it was it's really fucked up and she wouldn't shut the fuck up about it wow that's really she wouldn't hardcore, stop though you could like lie and say that like you know you got into fights right you don't have to say that you kill people i think that they really just they really were going for right. extreme. There, there, there. There's a line between like, you know, badass <laughs> so and believable. You know, like you gotta you gotta line that up as best as you can. And she was like oh way God. off the fucking mark. I, like, my feeling is like thing? Homegirl like had just seen way thing. too much like anime. She's like definitely way too much, <laughs> like binge watched way too much anime, dude. Like. It was that kind of shit where, like, there was an entire backstory oh, built. Like, she wasn't making this shit up. She she had it rehearsed. Okay. This like, this was like ready to be fed. Routine. Like, I, I guess she had to make like sure her story, up. like, was straight for everyone. I knew a couple people like that growing up where they post stuff on Facebook and everybody would just be kind of like, yeah, okay. Or we I knew a girl who claimed real. she was, like, half mermaid or some shit. Damn, bro. You're just getting lied to out here. <laughs> it's just, like there's some blatant shit like what like yeah in high school this, this girl says like yeah i'm half mermaid because like her mom water was on like, her the, head the caribbean like, or prove some it. shit and like <laughs> you're obviously not half- right you like, a spray bottle you're like where true. yeah why are your feet still your feet <laughs> yeah no she, yeah she was like practicing like wiccan like the, the witchcraft religion oh she was she was in all that it was it was some really it was some really I only had a couple conversations before I was like, let's not, let's not do this. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I, uh, the craziest lie I've ever been told growing up was that, uh, my family was just going in the other room and they'll be right, <laughs> and they'll be right back. That is the biggest lie that I've ever told as a kid. Dark. Cause all those motherfuckers were getting high, and they were, and they were fucking, <laughs> were just hiding it from me. And my dumbass never put it together until I smoked weed for the first time, right. and then I was like, and "Then you understood oh. perfectly. You got oh, yeah. everything made sense." Because no, no family comes out of the room and then is just super interested in what you're doing and is laughing at everything <laughs> you say. You're like, "Wow, like I'm, I'm pretty like it's just a false sense of like confidence." Like, oh, like, they really, they really, they're really interested in me. <laughs> I should have known, dude. Here's how I should have known. We were watching King of the Hill, and they're like, oh, hold on a sec. And they muted it and then put in Lil Jon and the East Side Boys in the CD player. And then we just watched it with the Lil Jon playing over the fucking King of the Hill. It was like, I should have known then that, that people were high. If my family did that, I would have thought that like I was about to get ritualistically murdered or something. That's the It was just normal, dude. It was just normal, dude. Just that, that specific one of the idea of just like you're gonna get high and watch King of the Hill and then just be like, nah, fuck it, I'm just. Gonna they're just keep cracking up show. hysterically. <laughs> yeah, they're all just laughing hysterically, and I'm like, I don't get it. Oh, and <laughs> God, that's, it wasn't until I yeah, most people like most people get like uh, most people have like you know 
good experiences when the first time they get high. The oh, first time yeah. I got high, it was like a big letdown because I just realized all my family are stoners. <laughs> it was what just like, oh, out, this real. is what they were doing, dude. Like, are you kidding me? I just got really <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> like, man. Yeah, there's the random, like, we should all go to Jack in the Box. I'm like, we had dinner like an hour ago. <laughs> that is incredible. That is really incredible. That is some next uh, level shit. Uh, yeah, I was just Were you in the allowed dark in that for... room once uh once uh once it had come out that you had started? I just I never you wouldn't want went back to, there. Right? I never went back there because I was just like, Oh, they'll be right back. You know, I would they I, they would like set me up playing I think they would always try to distract me. Like they would turn on a show or they would have me play video games or they would give me something to eat and then they would they were pretty good. Would they always it. say I that or would they just go? I mean, it was always like, uh, I'll be right back, or like, uh, they would right, go, like we're go or something. something. Yeah, and it would just, it was just, I never put two and two together as a kid. I guess I was kind of an idiot kid, but, you know. I, I don't uh, know. I feel like if you were, like, it sounds that's the title of this episode. weird to us now, like, thinking about it, but it is like, I don't know, like, if that was just. It's smart. Right, like, if that was just the normal thing, like, you probably wouldn't think it was that weird, so, I don't know. Totally. I, I guess I see how you would just like oh, okay, this is just how it is. Yeah, it's just it was just the norm for me as a kid. Like, oh, they're in is. the other room. What about you, <laughs> Seb? Craziest lie you've ever been told? Um, one time, I uh, I had a friend in oh, must have been seventh grade, um, or no sixth grade, sorry. Um, and he told me that this was like right when. It was right before, like, the Xbox 360 was coming out. Mm. And I remember, so, like, 2000. Wonderful time to be alive. Five, whatever it was. And my friend told me that his uncle worked at Microsoft. Um, and he was, like, telling me, like, oh, yeah, dude, like, the Xbox 360, it's going to do this, and it's going to do this, and it's going to do that, and it's going to cost this much money, and it's going to do this. And one of the things that he told me the Xbox 360 would do was he said that, oh, because this is when, like, 3D movies were kind of first coming out with, like, the red and blue glasses, you know, or it was mm. the big thing. And he said, oh, yeah, the Xbox 360 is going to play games in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? Wow. So, yeah, I totally believed it. And... Um, <laughs> And he said, like, yeah, dude, the Xbox 360, all the games are going to be in 3D. <laughs> and, he was like, and I was like, oh, so, like, do you have to wear the glasses? And he was like, that's the crazy part. No. And I said, well, do you need the a The technology has jumped. And like, like I, I'm, I was, I've always been, like, pretty tech savvy, so I, so I knew that, like, you had to have the glasses to do it. Like, a regular TV could just do it. Yeah. And I asked him, like, oh, like, do you need to buy a new TV that's going to come out or something? And he was like, no, dude, it just works, and it's going to be in 3D. And, like, it's, it was such a weirdly specific lie that I was like, yeah, like, that sounds like some, like, crazy future shit, like, for sure. And, okay. then, and, and then, like, two days later, I talked to my dad, who, like, has worked in computers his entire life. And I was like, dude, my friend said this. And he was like, yeah, dude, your friend took you for a fucking ride. No, <laughs> 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 nope. buddy. It's not how it is. That is so um, funny. Oh, and, my God. Well then, well, then, the next day, I talked to the kid, but instead of just calling his bullshit or whatever, I was like, Oh, dude! Like, like what else is the Xbox 360? <laughs> <laughs> see if I can get him to come up with something else. And he kind of—I don't remember a lot from childhood, but it's pretty vivid in my head. I remember like this look that came over his face was just like, "Oh uh, man, he had to continue lying." Like really deep in thought. And then he goes, "Well, it's gonna, um, it's gonna have uh, the internet." And I said, oh, the internet, huh? Okay. That's all he said was just, it's going to have the internet. Wow. What a letdown to, like, lead you on with 3D gaming. It's like, yeah. And like, then just to tell the you that you'll also Xbox have internet. already had the internet anyway, so. Yeah, he should have just um, kept going. He should have been like, actually, I didn't mean 3D. I meant virtual reality. <laughs> hey, well, yeah. now. 
with no comes headset. with an Oculus yeah. that you no no headset, dude. You just plug yeah, it. No just, headset. Yeah. Like you, just you gotta stay true to you your lie. Plug the wire into it. Oh, it's so You're funny. In. I'll, I'll say this: not that long after that, um, I did actually have an uncle who worked at Microsoft. <laughs> like not that uh-huh. long after that, and I didn't say. Like, I, I wasn't going to go around telling people that. And it was when Halo Reach was coming out. Ooh. And um, I got a copy of Halo Reach from the Xbox company store that came with a code that, like... It had like a, it was funny. It had a big sticker on the front that said, like, not for a resale. And it had, like, a serial number on it. <laughs> but it came with a code that unlocked, like, all of the armors or whatever. All of the cosmetic items in the game. <laughs> And then I was oh, like, nice. I showed up like day one on the servers, and my friends were just like, "Like, bro, how'd you get all that shit already?" And I was like, "Oh, my uncle works for Microsoft." <laughs> my oh, you sure is. You could have, you could have continued. You could have like threw a lie at them and be like, "Oh, oh they would have believed night. it." Hook, line, and sinker. I played all night. Yeah, I, like, I played. Like, it's not even possible. You're like, yeah, I, I, I'm just that good, dude. I'm just. You see my level right now? Look at that. Look <laughs> yeah. at that shit. Well, that was the thing. Was like, uh, he, you know, we we all started playing at the same time, and yeah, I was like, oh yeah, my uncle works at Microsoft. That's hilarious. So, so speaking of drinking, um, I do want to ask. There's kind of a, a calculation that you have to do in your head whenever you show up to a function, and it's how much should you drink, right? And I feel like it changes a lot for different different events. It's something that. You know, really, you kind of only learn it through trial and error. Okay. So here's the question. How much should you drink? I, I, I'm i looking for, I think we're looking for probably kind of an over and under, get sort of a range here. And the first time gotcha. we have right. up is a birthday party. How much so, should you drink? At just, let's assume, let's just lay out. You're not staying the night. You don't have to drive. And you, uh, That's a game changer. Well, you, let, let's assume in all of these you, you don't have to drive because obviously we wouldn't want to encourage that. Uh, sort yeah. of behavior. That changes my answer. Yeah, dramatically. definitely. 100%. <laughs> 100%. So, you don't have to try. Um, <laughs> but it's not that far away, and let's assume... It, let's just assume that, you know, you're, you've are you eaten or whatever. You're not in, like, an empty stomach. Okay, one question here for you, Sebastian. Uh, yeah. Are we at a birthday party for a friend's kid, or are we at a birthday party for our friend? Because yeah, friends, kid, I don't different, know. Those are different very situations different things. here. Different drinking amounts for both parties. Like, if I'm at a birthday party for someone else's kid, I'm knocking them back, dude. I'm trying to feel pretty loose at this party. Kids' parties are the oh, worst. Yeah. So oh, wow, I'm, you're kidding? I don't okay, care so I, it, oh, if well, we're doing a birthday party for a kid... Parties, does that count? Well, it's like your friend's kid, and they're like, come over for my friends. I don't have friends with it's kids. Like, You're at a function with kid as the, the recipient of the birthday celebration. Yeah, dude, I'm getting, I'm laying them back. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say the over-under here is three drinks. Okay, so not, you want to stay pretty, pretty. I'm going to go ahead and say to... I'm going to go under three if it's a kid's party. Um, that That's just me. Okay, I'm not so trying you're... to get fucked up around a child. You're trying, to, children. you're trying to keep it tight, keep it straight. Okay. Michael, you said the opposite, though. You said you're just... Yeah, so... Away. Over, under is I'm, three. I guess it's really the same for me, whether... I Now that I think about it, if it's my homie and we're there for his birthday and I don't got to drive, I'm turning up for my for yeah. my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing, like, four drinks, maybe well, more. let's assume there's kids and some sort of... Same thing, yeah. I think. Yeah. I just realized that it so doesn't you're going actually over. matter. You're going over three. <laughs> yeah. I think it's over three for both. I think that it, like, if you're at a birthday party and it's, like, your friend's kid and he invited you because, like, you know, the kid sees you when you go over to hang out with him and, like, he has his little friends there, but you're also there because kind of like a quote-unquote uncle, you okay. know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I, you got to go more than three. Okay. Because then it's going to be fun. One. I got to, if I'm in a yeah, I don't know, like man. That, I've got Children I've are got there, bro. Straight, <laughs> man. I've got to. <laughs> Um, however, though, however, over under for adult, I'm going to say is six. Six drinks. Okay. For, for That's what me, I'm going to say. For, like, you're there for your friend's birthday party, with, you know? Right. You're there for a while, probably. And you're not, you know, you've, fed, you're, you're, you've eaten, you've done all the festivities, and now it's time to drink. I feel so what like do you guys say? Over under six. I, yeah, I feel like I'd probably come in a little under just because I... That'll weigh a lot. 
and uh, I can't drink that much. But yeah, probably like five, six, somewhere around there. A little under, I would say. How about you, Michael? This is for the, this is for the wedding? No, this is for your uh, adult your... birthday party. You skipped oh, I just said... Okay. I just said both. Yes, you know, he, the same said, for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, no I'm probably right. going to shoot through that fucking six barrier. I'm probably hitting eight, nine. I'm turning the fuck up. It's the homie's birthday, you know? All right, so um, wedding? What, for, see, this is different. Y'all this is at a wedding, out of curiosity. Um, I, like, I think the long. last one I went to was about two over two years ago. Okay. And funny enough, probably around the same. Time. <laughs> this is <laughs> this goes to show you how my drinking is at a birthday or a wedding. Sorry, uh, I was at the wedding. Wait, and wait, wait! Bar... Be- before you go, let's set an over under. I I can't tell you how much I had at this wedding because I. Oh wow! It's a lot. I gotta t- I gotta explain. Yeah, let me explain the story, please. Don't fucking interrupt me. Uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fucking tell the story. Um, I can't tell you. <laughs> uh, so I was at the wedding, and it was a wedding where um, they weren't weren't exactly the uh, you know the party friendly type. Uh, it was more on the uh, you know moderation uh, okay. type people. Conservative. So the kinda... bar that was a sampling bar. So. That's just, it was, that's uh, just a word, baby. Yes. So there was a, um, there were, you know, the solo cups that are used for wine normally, the clear ones that are like half yeah. of a regular solo cup. They were serving beer in those. Uh, you know. So it was like half oh, a beer wow. and then a wine glass. So we, I Googled where the nearest store was. <laughs> 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 I start asking you people at the wedding. Michael, I don't believe you. You did. I did. 100%. You did. I Googled where the nearest store was. And then I started asking people at the wedding if they would take me to the store. And I'm like, why? They're like, why? I'm like, I'm gonna, we need to get a bottle of alcohol. This is not. What are we doing? <laughs> this is, this is half, a, a half beers. Traitors. Half <laughs> beers? Are you kidding me? We're at a wedding, bro. And so we drive, this is in a small town, we drive down the street, there happens to be a convenience store, we drive down the street, oh God. we get a fifth of Fireball, and there's like, the, it's like, we're at the only stoplight in the town, so <laughs> the guy drives me there, and the guy's driving me back, and he, I'm like, I pull it out right when we get in the car, and I go to crack it, and he's like, you gotta wait, and I'm like, <laughs> I look around. What are you, th- you're just fucking ready to pop it open? Yeah, yeah. I'm at a no wedding, dude. I'm at a wedding, man. bro. Like, <laughs> and so we're just uh, wilding out. Dude. We go through the one stoplight in the town, and then I crack the fucking bottle open, and I all night we just kept it in that car, and then we just would like tell people that we were hanging out with, hey, the bottle's in the car, you got to go over there, because we didn't want to try and sneak it into the wedding. So by the end of the night, I don't really know how much I had to drink because we were just taking pulls off the thing, but I was just like, people had to put me in the car because I was just kind of yelling and. <laughs> so, the car. I was at least my over under was probably seven or eight at the wedding, and uh, that's incredible. Yeah, I stand by it. Uh, have booze at your wedding. Don't fucking do half beers. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that um, that's an eight for Michael. That's the over under at a wedding. <laughs> um, I know a spot in Carmel that actually does what you uh, what you said. Uh, it's actually fucking awesome, and uh, I would love to be at a sampling bar. Are you kidding me, dude? That's more than enough right there. Unless there's a limit, in which case, you know, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> um, but I'm at a wedding, dude. Uh, I've only ever been to Mexican weddings, and Mexican weddings, they get fucking turnt after the ceremony. Okay. So I'm probably shooting through that eight fucking barrier pretty quickly. It's a celebration <laughs> of love, celebration of life, really. So you want to celebrate yeah, life properly. Yeah, yeah, I I think I'm right there with you guys, honestly. Like, I, I don't even have anything else to say like that. Yep. <laughs> Sev, Sev is with it. <laughs> yeah. um, well, so we're on the same page here. I guess the the next event for the over under how much final, you drink the final one of the evening. Yes, is kind of a, a another celebration of life, but a, a more um, le- a less happier one. Be uh, a funeral. Oh, so we say funeral slash wake uh, here. Like, is there? Is that okay to say? Like, yeah, I don't think you I, can I actually. Think so. I really don't yeah, think don't you think can actually drink straight up at the funeral, funeral ceremony. Yeah. yeah, I think it'd be frowned upon. Uh, but 
I would say like yeah, a celebration of life, kind of like a wake. I don't know. A death I don't know. Party. I feel like Is that, that can call? get bad real quick, depending on how badly people are grieving. Yeah, I'd probably just. I think I'd have like one or two, maybe, just to get a buzz going. So you're like, you're kind of just like sad, but you at least you got the buzz going. You I guess. Get lubed up, just for, just for like, like I. I, I feel like I'm with you. Like, in order to just have a conversation with somebody when you're at a funeral, like, just normal, you've got to be, like, a little bit buzzed, okay. probably. Okay, so let's say leaving the wake, this is the rest of that day. Are you drinking the rest of that day? I feel like um, I would try not to. Yeah, I think I'm just trying to ride out the buzz mm-hmm. and then probably just eat a lot when I get home. That would be the way that I would deal with that, probably, is just a lot of food. So let's say the over under is three. I think so. Yeah, like I, I don't think that you can. Yeah, get I think I'm under three. Loose. Listen, I'd like to say under personally, but every time I've been to a funeral, it's been over by a considerable margin. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's just uh, it's 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 the thing that happens at funerals, you know. Yeah. Especially if the person like in question was a big drinker and like they're known to drink, it's a way of paying respects, I guess. Makes sense. Yeah, you gotta pour one out for the homie, you know, and then you gotta. Yeah, I mean, some groups will even like they gotta drink the bottle for the homie, you know. That's true. I always have like a, I guess it's not really a funeral, but it's like the anniversary of somebody's death. I always have the drink that they liked, you know, like as an homage. I homage, really right? have not been to that many uh, funerals. I'm realizing. And, oh man, they and, put things in perspective. None, it's crazy. None where I've been old enough to drink, so this is like pure. Oh, okay. I should I should I should have clarified at the beginning. This is like purely conjecture for me. I I don't actually know. I I'm, I'm kind of just guessing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, uh, what do you guys got for takeaways today's episode? Oh. Uh, my takeaway is that I'm not an international cock boy. <laughs> I said cock boy, not cock boy. Oh. Cock boys are different and much more profitable. Than- <laughs> I'm definitely not an international cuck boy. Um, I don't know, man. This episode is fun. This is like this one is of fun. two episodes where Cameron isn't here, so it's it's fun to right? see us fuck around. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I, whenever it, it I just, my takeaway for this is that uh, is that whenever Cameron's not here, you, I I feel like we do a pretty good pretty good job, but. I always feel like, like oh, like our dad is gonna get back, and like we've got to like put all the drawers yeah. back and like clean the house before he gets. This home. is like when a sub when you have a substitute teacher, <laughs> and you're like the next day. Like, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the next day, like, that, like oh fuck, like did he leave a bunch of notes for the teacher? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I, I mean, we didn't talk any shit about him. Oh, that's right. We didn't. We didn't. How could we forget? Jesus, <laughs> uh, I, I would just uh, I think my takeaway is that uh, it seems like weddings and birthdays I'm just turning up you know for the celebration funerals not so much and also uh, I apparently I was just a really idiot kid because <laughs> hey, man. I would go and visit my family and it would all just be getting stoned and I had no idea I, so. uh, to be fair, I, I can't say for sure that I would have noticed you. So, <laughs> bro, with that, go read a book. Stay hydrated. Peace out. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to the episode. Make sure to check us out on Instagram at Cowboy Rowdy Podcast. Also on Facebook and YouTube at The Cowboy Rowdy Podcast. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram at KMBZ.Berry. And see me on YouTube at CB Comedy. I'm just below the little Indian kid who makes funny videos in his room. Uh, you can follow me at the Ghost of Anthony on Instagram and at Young Bathman on Twitter. And follow me, Sebastian, on Instagram at Seinfeld. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at underscore mbooth. <laughs>